Hi, Elaine here. Today I'll be sharing the magic of how a rolling edit on the magnetic timeline in Camtasia will save you a ton of time. What's a rolling edit? Well, a rolling edit moves the out point of the first clip and the in point of the second clip at the same time, allowing you to adjust both clips with one single action. When is a rolling edit most useful? Well, for me, it's my secret weapon when I'm working with slides. I export the slides as images and the magic happens inside Camtasia. Now, I switched to Camtasia after 12 years using ScreenFlow. And it was those years using ScreenFlow that inspired this demonstration of creating rolling edits in Camtasia. This is what a rolling edit looks like on the timeline in ScreenFlow. The out point of the first media clip is edited at the same time as the in point of the second media clip. Now this is indicated by the rolling edit symbol towards the top of the track. When I click and drag with the mouse positioned over that symbol, I'm using a rolling edit. Now contrast that with a standard edit, where the in and out points are manipulated separately. To use a standard edit, I simply move the mouse down away from the rolling edit icon, and then when dragging, each clip is edited individually. Not a huge issue if you have a handful of slides and associated transitions to edit, but in this file I have 84 slides. Manipulating the in and out points in a single manoeuvre makes the difference between having 84 edits to do and 168 edits to do. Now Camtasia has no interface like this for a rolling edit, but that doesn't mean that you can't replicate the benefits of a rolling edit inside Camtasia. Now, how does this work in Camtasia? Well, let's have a look. I'm on my Mac today, but this works exactly the same way in Camtasia for Windows. So inside Camtasia, I'm going to create a new file. I've already recorded the audio, so all I need to do is to import that. Alternatively, you could record the narration inside Camtasia if that's your preferred workflow. Simply use the voice narration option. To add the audio to the timeline, wait for it to import, right click, select Add to Timeline at Playhead. Next, I need to import the slides into the media panel. These are just images exported from PowerPoint, but you could also export slides as images from Apple Keynote or Google Slides. Once the slides are in the media bin, I'm going to switch to List View, simply to make selecting the slides easier. Click the first slide, scroll down, hold the Shift key down, and then click the last slide. Right click and select Add to Timeline. Each slide is added to the timeline with a duration of five seconds. That's only the default though. If you want something different, this is configurable via the preferences. The default editing in Camtasia means you need to edit each in point and out point separately. And as I've said with my 84 slides, that would mean 168 edits. What I'd be looking to do is to retime the slides to match the narration. And that would mean multiple edits. So, how do you convert these separate edits to be rolling edits? It's merely a matter of clicking the magnetic track option. This is indicated in two ways. One, the chevrons on the timeline. And two, the magnet icon next to the track name. As soon as you enable the magnetic track option, now when you edit, both the in and out points move together. In effect, this halves the time it takes you to complete your video edit. In this example, I've got markers on the audio track indicating where the slide transitions should happen. Because of that, it's a simple matter of dragging each join to the relevant marker. And while you might think that this is time consuming, trust me, it's way faster than the alternative. In this file, I know that there will be 84 edits. All I need to do is drag each image to the next marker and I'm done. I know what you're thinking. Are there any gotchas to this? Well, the magnetism applies to the entire track. So if you needed a gap between slides, you'd need to deploy the transparent placeholder trick. That's easy enough to do though. You would need to create a transparent element to act as the placeholder. I've already done that, it's in the library. To save you the time to create this, I've included it in the download listed in the description below. 
Once you have access to the placeholder, all you need to do is to drag and drop it on the timeline and place it between the slides where you need the gap. And here is what that looks like. As I say, I have a transparent placeholder available in the library. Simply drag it to the timeline, move it in place on the slides track, and then alter the duration as required. It pushes the upcoming slides to the correct place in the timeline, but shows nothing in the final video. Now, why is a rolling edit the best way to work with slides in Camtasia? This could be on your mind because there are several other ways to include presentation-based content in Camtasia. But this method has some specific advantages that make it my favourite. First of all, you get the best quality content. You can export those slides at a maximum size that matches the canvas in your Camtasia project. It also means that you have a smaller final Camtasia file. If you'd recorded this presentation at quite a high resolution for your final video, you could find that you've got a couple of gigs worth of information that is inside that Camtasia file, whereas the images are much smaller than that. It's also a lot easier to edit, particularly when it comes to swapping out slides, because there's no need to re-record or create complex patching sequences. All you would need to do is go back to PowerPoint or Keynote, make the changes to the slide, re-export that slide and just change the one slide in the presentation. So there you have it, another option when it comes to including slide-based content in your Camtasia files. And just in case you're interested, this is what the final edit of the overview of David Allen's GTD video looked like in Camtasia once I'd finished. And if you want to check out the final export of that video, the link is in the description below. Now, I have created a bonus download. If you want to try it yourself, you can download the zip. The link is in the description below. It includes a demo presentation in PowerPoint format, the same demo presentation in Keynote format, a test Camtasia file containing the slides as images, the transparent placeholder, and a guide to using rolling edits. So let's quickly recap that process. Export the slides as images from your Slides app. Import them into the Camtasia media panel. Add the images to the timeline. Enable the magnetic option on the track containing the images. Edit as required and you're done. If you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegiles.com VIP. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss future tutorials. And if you have any requests for specific tutorials, be sure to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.